Welcome to WPS Office Channel. Do spreadsheets just make your brain hurt? All those buttons, weird formulas, it's a lot. But what if I told you it doesn't have to be that complicated? By the end of this video, you'll be formatting tables, entering formulas, and feeling like a spreadsheet pro. Today, we'll start with the basics using WPS Office Spreadsheets, a free Office tool, and is fully compatible with Microsoft Office files. It plays really nice with Microsoft Excel. That means everything you learn today will work in Microsoft Excel and Google Sheets too. You can open, edit, and share files with anyone using Microsoft Office, no problem. First things first, when you open WPS Spreadsheet, it might ask if you want a blank sheet or a template. Templates are cool, but for learning the ropes, it's always best to start fresh. So let's click on blank to get a clean slate. Okay, here we are. This is the main screen. I know, it looks like a lot, but let's break it down into four simple areas so it's not so overwhelming. First, up at the very top, you have the ribbon. The ribbon is broken into tabs like Home, Insert, Page Layout, and so on. When you click a tab, the tools below it change. The Home tab has your everyday tools like font size, bold, and alignment. The insert tab is for adding things like charts or pictures. Just think of the tabs as different toolkits for different jobs. Second, there's the main workspace itself, this giant grid of boxes. This is your worksheet, and it's made up of columns going across, labeled with letters, and rows going down, labeled with numbers. Where a column and a row meet is called a cell, and every cell has its own address. For example, the one in the top left corner is in column A and row one, so we call it A1. See the little box above the columns? That's the name box, and it tells you the address of the cell you've clicked on. It's super helpful for knowing exactly where you are. Third, right next to the name box is the formula bar. Whatever you type into a cell, text, a number, or a formula will show up here. This is the best place to write and edit your formulas, which we'll get into in a bit. And fourth, look all the way down at the bottom you'll see a tab that says Sheet 1. A single file, which we call a workbook, can have lots of these worksheets. You can add more by clicking the little plus sign. This is great for keeping things organized, like having a different sheet for each month's budget. You can even double click the tab to rename it to something that makes more sense. So quick recap, the ribbon on top has your tools, the worksheet is your grid, the name box shows your address, the formula bar shows what's in a cell, and the sheet tabs at the bottom keep you organized. That's the whole layout. Not too bad, right? All right, now that we know our way around, it's time to actually do something. Let's start with entering data. It's as easy as it sounds. Click on any cell, let's say B2, and just start typing. Let's type monthly budget. When you're done, Hit the enter key. Notice how it moves you down to the cell below. That's the default. If you want to move to the cell on the right instead, you can press the tab key. Of course, you can also use the arrow keys on your keyboard to navigate anywhere. To edit something you've already typed, you can either double click the cell or click it once and then edit the text up in the formula bar. Let's try building a simple table. In cell A4, type item, press tab, and in B4, type projected cost. Press tab again, and in C4, type actual cost. Great, now we have headers, but they look a little plain. This is where formatting comes in. Formatting is just about changing how your data looks to make it easier to read. Let's make our headers bold. Click on cell A4, hold down the shift key, and then click on C4. This selects all three headers at once. Now go up to the home tab in the ribbon, find the font section, and click the big B for bold. Boom, your text is bold. You can also change the font, size, and color right from here. Now for some data. Under item in cell A5, let's type rent, then groceries in A6, utilities in A7, and transportation in A8. Hmm, transportation is a little long for the cell, isn't it? It's spilling over. To fix that, we can change the column width. Move your mouse to the line between the A and B at the top of the columns. Your cursor will change into a double-sided arrow. You can either click and drag it to the size you want, or even better, just double click that line. The column will automatically snap to the perfect width to fit the text. You can do the same for rows too. Let's plug in some numbers. For projected cost, let's go with 1200 for rent, 400 for groceries, 150 for utilities, and 100 for transportation. For actual cost, let's say it was 1200, 450, 140, and 90. It's starting to look like a table, but we can make it even cleaner by adding borders. Select the whole table from A4 down to C8. Back on the Home tab, look for the Borders button. It looks like a little window. Click the tiny arrow next to it and choose All Borders. 
Now you have nice clean lines. You can also use the fill color tool, which looks like a paint bucket, to add some color to your header row to make it stand out. And just like that, we've learned how to get around, enter and edit data, resize columns, and use basic formatting. These are the core skills you'll use every single time you open a spreadsheet. Okay, deep breath. This is the part that usually scares people off, but I promise it's not as bad as you think. The real magic of a spreadsheet is that it does the math for you. The secret to unlocking all of that is one simple rule. Every formula must start with an equal sign. Let's start super simple. Say we want to see the difference between our projected and actual grocery costs. We can click on an empty cell like D5 and in the formula bar type equals B6 minus C6. Hit enter and bam. The cell instantly shows you the answer, negative 50. It did the math for you. But here's where the magic really kicks in. Let's say you found another grocery receipt and your actual cost was really 475. The second you hit enter, the formula in D5 automatically updates to show the new difference, negative 75. You build the logic once, and it updates forever as your data changes. That's the power. Now for something even more useful, let's total our costs. We could write a formula like equals B5 plus B6 plus B7 plus B8, but that would get old really fast with a long list. Instead, we'll use a function. A function is just a pre-made formula. The most common one is sum. In cell A9, let's type total. Now click into cell B9, where we want our total projected cost. On the home tab, find the auto sum button. It has a Greek letter on it, the sigma. Click it. The spreadsheet is smart and will automatically guess you want to add the numbers right above it, highlighting from B5 to B8. The formula will look like this, equals sum, open parentheses, B5, colon, B8, close parentheses. The colon just means and everything in between. Press enter and there's your total. Let's do it for the actual cost column, but this time let's type it out to get the hang of it. Click on cell C9, type equals sum, open parentheses. Now, instead of typing the cell numbers, just click on cell C5, hold the mouse button, and drag down to C8. The spreadsheet will fill in the range for you. Type a closing parentheses and press enter. Done. You have the total actual cost. Just like before, the sum functions will update automatically if you change any numbers. You can even copy and paste formulas. Click on cell B9, grab the tiny little square in the bottom right corner, that's called the fill handle, and drag it one cell to the right, over C9. It copies the formula over, but it's smart enough to sum column C instead of column B. Let's try one more handy function, average. In cell A10, type average actual. Then in cell C10, type equals average open parentheses c5 colon c8 close parentheses and hit enter just like that you know the average of what you spent this month you've now written your own formulas and used functions you've officially unlocked the main feature that makes spreadsheets such a powerful tool for everything from business to budgets and that's really it we went from staring at a blank scary grid to navigating it with confidence making a clean looking table and even using powerful formulas like sum and average to do math for us automatically. We saw that the interface is just a ribbon full of tools and a grid of cells. We learned that getting data in and making it look good is just a few clicks away. And most importantly, we learned that the equal sign <laughs> is the key to unlocking the real power of spreadsheets. Remember, the skills you've picked up here with WPS Office are foundational. They'll work in other programs like Microsoft Excel and Google Sheets too. You've just taken the biggest and most important first step. If this video helps you, please give it a like and hit that subscribe button. We'll keep making easy to follow tutorials just like this one. Got questions or wanna request a topic? Drop a comment down below. Thanks for watching and happy spreadsheeting with the WPS Office.